I'm John with Fluidine and what we're gonna do is change porting on the V and VQ pumps. The two I have here, this one is a double, a 2520 and this is a single 25V. Um, the sizes from the 25V all the way up to the 50V, porting changes are all the same. Same thing with the 2520 up to the 4535. Porting changes will be the same for all of them. So the first thing what you wanna do on the single one is you wanna remove the bolts from it and just by hand, you should be able to turn it by hand, it's real easy. Just twist it right to what the porting that you need, reinstall the bolts, and bolt it back together. Now, if it is a little tough to turn, you can get a uh, screwdriver or something in there just to move it and break it loose, but it shouldn't be that, that hard to turn. Do not pull the cover back any more than probably a quarter of an inch because the pins in here for the cartridge kit is short so if you do pull it back you're going to just turn the cover and properly the cover and the cartridge kit will need to turn so keep that in mind when you're going to change the porting now for the double pump what you want to do is remove the bolts off the rear cover first to get at these other bolts on the inlet housing so once you do remove those bolts on the rear cover you can just pull that cover off and just set it aside usually the cartridge kit come out with it because the o-rings keep it in there pretty stiff so once you do that and you remove the bolts from the inlet cover again real easy to turn by hand even the larger pump should be very easy to turn once you have that porting position changed to where you need it reinstall the bolts find the locating pins on the inside of your housing match them up with the ones that you have on your cartridge kit so they go in there and sit properly and once you have those in there then you can Turn a porting on the rear section to where you need it and if that's the location reinstall the rear bolts as well so that's how you change the porting on these two pumps it's real easy <clears throat> and always remember do not pull these back too far and remove them from the locating pins in the cartridge kit because when you reinstall them if they're not lined up properly the pump won't function when you reinstall it into the, the power unit or your application and it won't operate so that's how you change the porting. Don't forget, check our website or go online if you have any questions and chat with us live.